I get a lot of messages of people asking me how I stay motivated, how I continue to learn and read every day and practice on Hack the Box without becoming burnt out. And that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. A few videos ago, we actually talked about setting goals and creating goals. And this video is gonna be more about how to achieve those goals that now that you've set those goals, how do we actually reach them? What do we do from point A to point B in order to actually accomplish what we set out to do? The answer to this is going to be making habits. So we're going to talk about how to create habits in this video specifically geared towards ethical hacking but this i think will work for pretty much anything in general and so the best way to start creating a habit is know when you're going to be the most productive in any time of day so everybody has a certain time of day where they're going to be the most productive for me it's in the morning for my wife it's at night good morning oh and in case i don't see you good afternoon good evening and good night <laughs> And I know if I wanna do something or create a habit, I need to start doing that during the most productive time of the day because I will actually be able to be disciplined enough to set out and do whatever specific task it is that I'm not used to doing. So if I'm gonna create a new habit, I usually create those in the morning first thing. For you, it may be different, but when we start creating our habits, what we'll want to do is set out a specific amount of time that's generally really short. So something like 10 minutes every single day for as many days in a row as we can have. And so you don't really wanna take off more than one day in a row because then you'll start to break your cycle. So what we'll do is we'll say every day for the first 10 days, we're gonna study for 10 minutes. And then for the second 10 days, we're gonna study for 20 minutes or 15 minutes. And you gradually build on that until it's ingrained into your body that this is something that you're gonna do every day and you start to build that habit. So we need to have a specific time of day that we're gonna be able to go and study for a specific amount of time and then we're going to be reaching a very specific goal that we have set previously that is maybe we want to learn cross-site scripting in the next five weeks. So what we'll do is study only cross-site scripting in that allotted amount of time. Now, in order to do this, you're gonna to have to have a very controlled environment. And I've talked about this before. On my work computer, I don't have any social media and I don't actually even know my social media passwords. If you're gonna be a good penetration tester or a bug bounty hunter, then you know you need to have very complex passwords. I don't even know my passwords because they are so complex. I just keep them written down upstairs in a different place. And if I'm gonna log into any kind of social media, it's gonna be on a different computer. So my work computer, I am not tempted at all to visit any social media and I don't keep my phone in the room that I work. So if there is gonna be any distraction, it is going to be YouTube itself. And so I limit myself, if I'm gonna be on YouTube, it has to be related to whatever I'm studying. It's gonna be helping me reach my goal. So you need to have a controlled environment. Tip number three is to have reminders. You need to make sure you have reminders set up, whether it is on your phone, whether it is going to be on your computer or some kind of pop-up, or it's somebody saying, hey, it's that time of day, you need to go and study and remember to build that habit. So setting reminders is gonna be helpful because it's very easy in the beginning to just blow it off or forget about it. And this is gonna give you that reminder. And it's also gonna remind you that if you don't go, when the reminder goes off, you're basically just a failure. So that is really helpful for me personally is to have alarms or some kind of reminder because that will remind me if I don't do this, then I'm not being productive and I kind of just make myself feel guilty and I will get up even if it's after like 10 minutes, the alarm has gone off. And I'm like, man, I really don't want to go do whatever it is. And I'm trying to build this habit. I will typically feel guilty enough and talk myself into getting up and going and doing whatever it was that I was supposed to be doing. So alarms or reminders really help me and maybe they'll help you too. So the last one, number four, I think this is probably the most important and that is accountability. Sometimes if you watch inspirational videos on YouTube, I think they can be misleading because they'll be like disappear for six months and then you'll emerge this beautiful butterfly who's ready to conquer the world. And I don't think that is the case for most people. If you are extremely disciplined, maybe you can pull that off, but most people who are gonna be watching those how-to videos are not gonna be disciplined enough to disappear for six months and do nothing but study so that they learn a new trade in six months and can emerge a beautiful butterfly ready to conquer the world. So you're gonna need accountability. I always have accountability with whatever it is that I'm trying to do. And I don't tell a bunch of people what I'm gonna be doing, just usually one other person. And I say, hey, keep me accountable. Every day at this time, I'm gonna go and study. I'm gonna go make a YouTube video. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna work on something to create this habit. And then I like to have my wife and sometimes she can be really brutal and be like, okay, 
it's time to go study and then she'll have some nagging underlying jab that'll just hit me right in the sweet spot that makes me go you know what um, you're right I need to go do this and she is really good at keeping me accountable but sometimes I have other people keep me accountable so I had a friend who wanted to start running every single day and I was ready to quit drinking monster and I said here's the deal on every day you don't run you owe me five dollars every day I drink a monster I'll give you five dollars so that way there's something that is causing us some kind of repercussion that's going to say you know what I don't want to drink this monster I'll lose five bucks and then for him he wanted to run and then if he didn't he would owe me five dollars and to this day that was like six months ago both of us have met our goals and created those habits I don't drink monster and he runs at least three to four times a week and so we have created those habits so an accountability partner is going to be the most important in my opinion in creating habits because they're going to be able to motivate you and also remind you that if you don't do whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing to reach those end goals you're ultimately going to fail at the goal if you don't have a habit to consistently work towards those goals in whatever manner you see fit you're going to fail you're not going to make it and so accountability is probably number one for me if you have any ideas of how to help create habits for us then please let us know down in the comments i'd love to see what you do to create your habits thanks for watching